All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Captain Steve Pope here, Kansas City, Kansas Fire Department. Behind me, we're at Station 20. It was built in the late 40s, early 50s is what I'm hearing. Kansas City, Kansas annexed this Muncie Township, as you can see on the fire truck, back in 1972. So that's what happened as Kansas City, Kansas kept coming west. They annexed different parts of those townships as they moved west. So that's a little bit of history there for you. So I'm gonna showcase this this uh, this station. It's had its problems, you know, little beams are cracked and warped a little bit, but this station is slated to be a new station just down the street, as you saw in the B-roll footage. Uh, so when that's done, it's gonna look just like station 12 or station 16 as you've seen on this channel. So go back and watch those videos. All right, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this tour. All right, folks, there's Pumper 20, the Muncie District. It's named that because that's the township, that's the district that this station is in. And they were named that over time because Kansas City, Kansas annexed all these townships back in the day. And so they adopted them on our, on our rigs. So here's the bay. There's my bag foundation golf bag bring that in so it doesn't get stolen out of my vehicle all right there's my gear plyo vent people are wondering what that is that takes all the exhaust out of the fire fire station when we start the rig up gear lockers but there's not that many people stationed here, so they don't need it, need those. So yeah, you see there's pop in it. Uh, there's the flammables. Over here are the gear lockers next to the rig. All right, folks, in here, I'm gonna pan up. It's kind of dark right now, as you see. It's the old hose tire where we used to hang hose to dry back in the day, so don't need to do that anymore. As you can see, it's a small station, so our furnace and everything are right here. We drag that grill out. I'm not stationed here, but they can drag that grill outside and cook out there. Washing machine, dryer, and that's where you can get your mops ready for cleaning the station. Recyclables. All right, folks, here's where we have to park there's three people stationed here a day. You got bird's nest, you got wasp nest. <laughs> but here's the front door for the public to ring and get our attention if we have the bay doors closed. And most stations in Kansas City, Kansas, all of them I should say, but I was gonna say most stations around the country are a safe place where people can drop off, you know, kids, um, battered spouses can show up for help. And here's the side of the station on this side. All right, let's take a tour inside the kitchen. All right, folks, here's our kitchen TV area here at station 20. And then over here will be, you know, our dining, dining area and then the kitchen. So as I showed you at other stations, you know, they have the two refrigerator, refrigerators right now. I'm going to have to check out in the base, see if they have our third one for each shift at this station. So there's the kitchen. Now let's go to the bedrooms. All right, folks, here's the entrance to the bedroom corridor. Right here's the bathroom, but it's locked. Someone's in there. Hey, we'll show you that later. <laughs> All right, here's the bedroom corridor. You got doors that go outside. This is the captain's room at this station. Nothing special, it's got a twin bed in it over there. Locker room. Hey, this station's so small, here's their workout room. We've lived in these small stations for pretty much tw my 28 years on this job and so, it's nice for us to get these newer, bigger stations.
All right, here's the bathroom and shower. Just had some work done recently. Shower's back there around the corner. Clark, shitter's full. All right, folks, thanks for watching the tour of Station 20 here in Kansas City, Kansas. Like I mentioned earlier, there's gonna be a new station. As you can tell, this station's you know, it's an older station, it was built in the late 40s, early 50s, so it's nice that they're gonna get a new station eventually here in the next couple years. Anyway, thanks for watching, love you all. This channel's about staying self-aware about mental health for first responders and uh, yeah, I, I, even general public that's watching these videos. I want them to be aware that it's a real thing, mental health, stress, um, yeah. Anyway, love you all, stay self-aware.